What is up everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here today. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Uh, so today's video is an update to the last video that I made uh, four days ago before I went off to my break. Actually on the morning of the day that I went. Uh, so, you know, if you guys remember that last video, I taught, I told you guys I was getting awesome um, signs of a great pin set, potential pin set coming in uh, for the Florida Grass Lover shoe boxes, the multi-sport ones, right? And lo and behold, it is absolutely incredible, the pin sets that I've gotten here, basically canopies. I'm gonna give you guys a quick side profile. Uh, so I released an update video on Patreon yesterday for these guys. This is the more impressive one as well. This looked pretty good, but this is a lot more dense. Um, so it's gonna be on Patreon, right? Uh, it is on Patreon. I released it yesterday and I'm telling you guys this now because YouTube is recently sort of shadow banned some of my community posts. Actually, all my recent community posts is just not getting nearly as many likes as I used to, but the content hasn't changed at all. So I'm trying to get the word out about my Patreon here. So that's why I'm letting you guys know. So if you guys would like to support me, it's just go on there, patreon.com slash mycophilia. Uh, and I will be posting the rest of the update videos of these guys on there. Now, so the other stuff that I wanted to talk about, um, there's a lot of stuff I wanna talk about. This is just a sort of general, almost a state of the grow video, honestly, sort of a casual state of the grow video is, you know, so I've talked about back to sport, right? And that's sort of been the whole theme of this channel for let's say the last month or so, probably a little bit more than last month. So I have a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be going back to sport and start a whole new sort of generation of these grows. And concerning the Florida grass lovers, that was the issue to my sort of recent, semi-recent lackluster pin set is senescence. The, the cultures that I've been using are from last year. They've been through all sorts of terrible, horrid conditions. And so, you know, it, they were producing a lot of stones, but they weren't producing many fruits. They're very, very, very unpredictable as well. Like I couldn't get a canopy off of those guys as I was able to before. So by going back to Spore now, it sort of reaffirmed my thought that, okay, so it was in essence, it's just the cultures are super old. And so now we have a great pin set, fresh, fresh genetics. So they are doing absolutely fantastic. But the natties, unfortunately, um, are not doing too well. The multi-spore natties, they are just super overlaid, no sign of fruits at all. It's just the overlay is getting more and more deep. <laughs> Um, so we'll see how that happens. Um, but we have some other multi-sport stuff coming in as well. So I got the Mexican grass lovers. I'm going back to multi-sport on these guys. Um, because every time I use the last culture, even though it's not that old, they just, I've gotten a lot of primordia like we have over here, but they just like don't fruit or they abort really quickly. And then whereas in, a, in like a bowl grow that I have, right, that I've been going for like two months now, they are still fruiting right now. Right, they're still fruiting. There's no problem. They fruited a lot, so I don't know what what the what the cause of that is. So, anyways, I'm just going to be going back to spore and inoculating some grain jars with a direct spore plate, and also I got some semper vivas, right? Uh, so I'm going to be putting this to spore. This is also multi spore, so I'm going to be putting this to grains as well directly. They look pretty clean. I don't want to show you guys like too much because there's going to be reflection, so that's why I'm, the angle is kind of awkward. But yeah. That's basically what I'm gonna be doing. And also I have, this isn't multi-sport, but this is actually from a plate pin. So I got swabs of Melmax a while ago, and unfortunately I got embedded contamination on those. And so they couldn't fruit. So what I ultimately ended up doing was, well, actually I was lucky that there was a plate pin on there. So I took the plate pin and I cloned the plate pin and the plate pin seems to be doing very well, looked very clean. Uh, and as you can see, it looks very healthy, very rhizomorphic. And also you may notice that there's also an actual casing layer on here. I did apply a proper casing layer as I'm doing recently with my core lovers uh, to sort of offset the dryness of my environment. Although now we're getting into the warmer months, it's actually getting uh, more moist, so it might actually not be necessary, but I quite enjoy using the casing layer. It's an extra step, but uh, they really, really enjoy it. So. Yeah, these guys, hopefully we're gonna start getting fruits in the next week or so, uh, spawned on the 18th. So it's been it's been like a week now. So yeah, right on schedule. And what else do we have? Oh yeah, so you know, embedded contams, right? So we talked about embedded contams. Um, and on that video, you know, certain people say, oh, they don't exist, there's no such thing. Um, well, I wanna show you guys an example of an embedded contam here, right? 
Embedded contamin is basically when the mycelium itself is contaminated. Now this right here is a Shakti clone, okay? And you could see how uneven the growth looks, right? The mycelium looks. Nature hates asymmetry like this. This is this is very bad. Um, this is a clear sign that there is so, this thing is contaminated. Now, oftentimes I find embedded contams come from plates. Let's say that you streak a bunch of spore plates, right? And you get some bacteria, right? Oftentimes you get like, maybe you might get a lot of bacteria. Okay, unfortunately. And you, but then you might have some mycelium growing out like this. This is, this is the plate that I transferred this clone transfer from. This is the actual clone plate. Look at it, it's, okay, it's very dirty, right? Loads and loads of bacteria. This is all bacteria right here. Okay, this is all bacteria. So over here, it's very thin but you might be able to see there's some mycelium there. So the mycelium grew out of the bacteria and that's what I took a transfer of. There was no bacterial blobs on the mycelium in the place that I took, right? But I often find that embedded contams come from cultures where there's a lot of contamination and the mycelium sort of mingles with the bacteria, right? And, and, then, it's, and then the mycelium itself gets contaminated like this, like it's almost like it's diseased or something. I don't know I don't know exactly the technical function of it but I feel like there might be some kind of drift going on here and it sort of messes with the mycelium. It's like in a reoccurring pattern every single time. Well not every single time but a lot of times when I do get embedded contams it's usually from like swabs where there's also some bacteria present and the mycelium sort of mingled with it. So that's sort of my anecdotal experience there. So that's sort of an example of, of an embedded contamination. So I got a lot more things I need to do today. Um, I gotta spawn a bunch of pool lover stuff. Recently, I've been having issues with with my grains. Well, I don't know if this is my grains, but basically contamination with the grains. And the cultures themselves are clean and nothing in my process has changed. My grain prep process is the same. The cultures that I'm using have had no issue, like no contams uh, when I previously fruited the exact cultures, right? Uh, or the exact lineage of it. And there's no indication of contamination on the plates themselves, it's only when I put them to grain. And usually they grow fine for a bit, but then after like the second shake, like when they're almost fully colonized, they'll just basically sort of stall. And I've been having this mainly with the pool lovers, but not exclusively. And I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. And I have a few, um, I have a few ideas about what the cause may be. So these are all pool lovers and they were all growing fine. But then after the second shake, there was like 5% of the areas like bits and pieces that didn't colonize. So I shook them again. I thought it was because of the gas exchange because the lid was closed fully. And so I had to unscrew it a little with these unmodified lids. And uh, it didn't it didn't solve it after a couple of days. So I shook it up one last time. And as you can see, it's very, very wet, right? It's like the mycelium is trying to colonize a lot of this stuff. It's not fully stalled. It's, it's recovered as best as it could after this final third shake. So, you know, it used to be nice and fluffy and healthy looking. Now it's sort of blobby and stuff. This is sort of what happens. This one here as well is a better example. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's another example here. Same story here. So the cultures are completely clean. I, they're tested and proven cultures that I've used many times to success. And all of a sudden they're not. And here's another one, here's Estero, right? It's not, you know, it should be fully colonized at this point and it's not. Um, now, will I get fruits? Yeah, most likely with, with pool lovers, especially because they move so fast, I could usually get a flush uh, out, of, out of bacterial spawn, but I'm trying to get to the bottom of exactly what the issue is. And my thought right now is something to do with the grains rather than the cultures themselves. Um, because I'm using an old bag of rye that I've been using for a couple of months and there's it's it's got tons and tons of moss it's got tons of larva there's this like I guess like mo like larva poo or something all over the place like this white powdery stuff that I have to rinse like crazy and you know every time I rinse I have to get rid of like 20 tw at least 20 larva you know it's a couple of full grown moss some of them alive some of them dead and I think that might be what's causing this because nothing else has changed you know, there's just tons of moss right now. And and there was some gnats. I did get some gnats uh, semi-recently, like two weeks ago. I found some gnats. Uh, thankfully, I got rid of them. So yeah, guys, I guess that's sort of, uh, that's that's the video for now. Um, yeah, I, I sort of covered what I could. Uh, and again, I, has, I had a good experience on uh, TTBVI. So 
keeping up your eye posted on that and unfortunately my phone storage cut out there so anyways guys there's going to be a uh, experience report coming out on the nightclub um hopefully sometime soon so hope you guys have a great day or night michael file sage checking out for now <laughs>